right, so to start your Moonlight Pumpkins homework, you're going to um, make sure that you're in your drive, and then you go to the uh, New button and go down to More and then open up a Google Drawings file. And you can label it whatever you'd like your name, Moonlight Pumpkins. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is put in the background. So we're going to go to a gradient and because we want this to be moonlight and we want it to be kind of like light from um, top to bottom, uh, we're going to pick the linear gradient like that. Okay, and I'm going to actually custom it because I want to change the angle. I want to have actually the darker part on the top and the lighter part on the bottom. So, so far that works if I do the 225. Okay, and then I'm going to start to fill in my sky. So I'm going to start by adding my star. So I'm going to insert shape. And this call out has a few different star designs. Um, you can use this star or you could use the regular five pointed star. I'm going to choose the four pointed star and I want them to be white. You could do them white or you could do them yellow. Your choice. And I'm just going to shrink them down so they look like tiny pin stars. If you hold the shift key and then move your star it'll move um, without skewing it too much all right and then i'm going to make sure that i don't want the dark outline on it so i'm going to go up to this pencil tool where it says border color and make a transparent border and then you just have the white border you don't have a black or you have like a no border you won't have a black outline and then i'm going to copy and paste this in Kind of all over the place and you can still control the size I can make some bigger if I want to make them look like they're a little bit closer and I can make some very tiny I'm always holding the shift key so it doesn't skew them too much you can Kind of really add a lot. And I'm just left clicking for the paste. Okay, and I can even add in more later on, but I just wanted to kind of show that for right now so you guys got the idea. Okay, um, next thing I'm going to put in is my ground. So rid of that. I'm going, to ins I'm going to draw using the polyline tool. So I go up to the upper menu and there's lots of different line tools here and I'm going to click polyline. A polyline works as a closed shape which means that you have to begin and end in the same place in order for it to be able to color in. I'll show you what I mean by that. So make sure we're still in polyline. And I just click on it when I want to stop. I want to kind of make this look like it's going uphill. And then I'm going to bring it down the side of my square and across the bottom and then up to joint. And you'll see if it uh, shades in light blue, then you know that it's a closed shape. And then I can go up to my bucket and I'm going to do a gradient too because I want a light to dark green shade. Um, and I'm going to go once again to my linear and if you ever end up with this line, just click on the arrow. It kind of ends that. So I'm going to customize this. And once again, I want um, light to dark. Sometimes you just, kind of, there we go. The 90 degree one is good. All right, so lighter at the top because it's going to get that reflection from your, um, from the light that's shining. Okay, so that'll be the first part of our uh, pumpkins in the moonlight.